Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Tiana Barrios and I'm a board certified assistant behavior analyst and today I'm going to be going over how to pass the BCABA exam in three weeks or less. So if you're interested, keep on watching and make sure you hit that like and subscribe button so you can, so you can reinforce my behavior of making more videos. Okay, so the first thing, I think this really, really helped me. Safmen say all fast minute every day. That's what it stands for. Um, so I did this a few times a day and I graphed my data and I would suggest this, you know, in ABA, we love data. So take data on your fluency with ABA terms. I got up to 45 cards um, and this really helped me just know the terms automatically, like positive reinforcement, know that. Concurrent schedule of reinforcement, got it. Um, so I felt like that, <laughs> That really put me on track to get to know everything pretty well in three weeks or less. These are $75, so I wouldn't recommend buying them. I would try to make your own, but still follow the same principle of timing yourself in a minute and getting through as many cards as you can. You can make your own flashcards. You don't have to buy this. I bought it because I had a coworker who was super into them, um, but I really don't think they're necessary. I think this is something you could do for free. Okay, now this guy, um, I went through this whole book in one weekend, so like two days, I went through this whole book. And what I did was I took notes while I was reading it. And then if there was something in here where I was like, I'm not going to remember this, I wrote a flashcard. <laughs> and this ended up being my huge stack of flashcards from the BC, past the big ABA, that's what it's called, past the big ABA exam prep study manual. So I did that. And then another thing that I did was my little tab method. So the pink tabs are like each section of the study manual. The blue and green tabs are things that I felt like I wasn't going to remember. So I would read the blue and green tabs every time I started studying. And I would try to read them sometimes before I went to bed at night, just so I was getting the material repetitively over and over again. Now this um, is $129. I think it's worth it because it really breaks down the Cooper book into like bite-sized pieces and pieces where you're going to understand it. Like they give a lot of good examples. So I recommend it. Another thing I recommend is when you do make study materials or whatever study materials you have, put them in a place where you're going to see them and you'll use them. Put them in sight. So these I would put by my couch and before I watch TV I would go through all of these cards. So yeah, that's what I recommend for those. Something else that I did was I used the um, fit mock exams. $59 each, but I also think they're worth it if you're able to pay for that study material. I did this a week before the test, and I did it um, like two days before the test. It's a really hard test. I got 78% both times on that test, um, but I feel like it helps you like get ready for the types of questions. Oops. <laughs> Eat some tea. For the types of questions that are on the BCAB exam. And the other thing that I liked about it was it breaks down what part of the task list you need to study. After I did the FIT exams, the FIT mock exams, I would go through the lovely Cooper book, the White Bible. Do people actually call it that? Or did I just have like a couple of coworkers who called it that? I'm not sure. Um, but I would go through this and I would go through sections that I didn't do well in and I would go through 
questions that I remembered from the fit exam about like topics. So I would go through like momentary DRO and things that I was like, you know what, I don't really know this that well. The thing about Cooper, if you're studying and you don't have a lot of time, Cooper goes into super depth. So I would only go over like a couple of things and then I would read the summaries at the end. That's why I really liked this is because I feel like it just summarizes the information you need to know for the test really well. Before I move on, I just want to let you guys know that I did not buy all of these things in one go. Like Cooper, obviously, like you're going to need Cooper for your master's program if you're doing that in ABA. Um, and then staff meds I bought at some point during my master's program too. And past the BCA, past the big ABA exam I used during my master's program for topics that I just was not getting. Um, so I bought these at two different points at my master's program at Ball State. I wouldn't try to buy all these materials in one go because it could get really expensive. free materials, my favorite kind of materials. Um, I really encourage you guys to try to find as many free materials as possible because I feel like sometimes we are overpaying for our study materials and we could either just make them or find a free resource online. So something that I became a part of was the ABA study group on Facebook. They have a ton of stuff in their files so I did a few mock exams from their materials too. And it's really helpful. People post questions on that Facebook group a lot. So it's really good to just get practice and see like how other people answer. So I recommend that. <clears throat> I don't know what's up with my voice today. Um, I also would meet up with some of my old coworkers and new coworkers on Zoom to talk about ABA terms and to do mock exams with them. And I really like that because you can see like you can discuss the question and discuss why you would answer this way or why would you would answer that way. And you can also like discuss ABA terms and give each other examples. I felt like talking to another human being, that's how I learn. I learn by talking and discussing. And that's like one of the reasons why I'm doing this channel is because I feel like it's going to be helpful for me when I am studying for the BCBA. Okay. Another free material, use your supervisor as a resource. So I would talk to my supervisor about concepts that related to clients that we worked with were in ABA. That's a great way to study is just while you're at work. I also asked like my supervisors, like how did they pass the exam, get their input and see if they have any free materials too that maybe they know. Um, my supervisor sent me a mock exam that she corrected for somebody else and she explained why like when one of the questions was wrong, like why it was wrong and what the question was really saying. And I thought that that was super helpful. Another thing that I love to do, like while I'm cleaning, while I'm going on a drive, I mean, that doesn't happen that often anymore, but when I am going on a long drive, I love to listen to podcasts. And there's a really great podcast called Behavior Bitches that I've been listening to for like a year. Um, and they basically just bring up terms in like everyday life situation so like they have one that's like about gambling and they talk about like the rate the ske different schedules of reinforcement associated with gambling they have one about dating um and I really like it because it's super relatable and it's just an easy way to study while you're you know doing the dishes or folding your laundry I do that a lot now or just going for a walk and listening to a podcast is such a good way just to get out there and get moving and to break up your day a little bit when you are doing telehealth or doing something like that with COVID. Another thing that I did was I looked up free YouTube videos on concepts that were hard for me. And I watched some of the free study notes ABA YouTube videos. They have one, I think it's called like last minute, oh shit questions. I'll link it down below. So I watched that video by them the day before my test and I watched another video that they have. It was like quarantine questions. No, it was like dissecting questions in quarantine or something like that. I'll link it down below. Um, but I watched those videos, so I would recommend those. Alrighty, so those were the materials that I used to pass the 
BCABA exam. I hope they were helpful. Um, in the comments section down below, let me know if you know of any really good resources that you recommend or any like free resources would be great. Um, let me know in the comment box down below and I'll catch you guys in the next video. And remember, it's a big world of behavior out there. Have a good one, guys.